in Adobe Spark is really simple to do. First thing you need is to get to spark.adobe.com. Then you should see this page. Direct your attention to the top right and click Start Now for free when you're creating your account for the first time. So go ahead and select that. And then I would like you to select Login with School Account. Now you know you're in the right place because it does not ask you for your birth date. So in the space where it says email address, click um, put in, type in your school email address where it asks for your password, type in the password associated with your school email address and click sign in. I've already signed into my account and my account is a little different because I have a lot of content already made. So you can see all of your saved work in here. Um, yours, I want you to be looking for the blue plus. That's how you kind of get started creating with Adobe Spark. And so that opens up this page and this might look more of like what you have entered into with a lot of templates. Sometimes at the bottom, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll give you these three buttons, the green, the blue, and the red. So you're looking for those to create new. You can create a video, a web page, or a graphic like a poster. So all you have to do is click which one you like and you can begin creating. Um, now, the next time you go to sign into your account, and you went to spark.adobe.com, instead of starting now for free, you're gonna click login. And at that point, it's going to ask you, it might, oh, there we go. It's gonna ask you to uh, log in with your school account. So again, you will click here and you will type in your email address and your password. So just remember the only difference is that second time you're gonna click login instead of create an account. 